Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Oh, he had another great menu question on one of our videos. Somebody said they've had a little drop down on their menu, but they had about 20 items on there. And because of that, it went down below the fold. And for anybody that doesn't know what below the fold means, what you're seeing here is above the fold. And it's an old newspaper term. And it stems from when they used to deliver broadsheet newspapers. They used to have to fold them in half. And the stories that you'd see on the top bit that everybody would see, that bit was called above the fold. Bit of history there for you. So anyway, he can't see all of his menu items. He said he's got 20 of them and they go down there and there's no way of scrolling on desktop. Well, the easiest solution for that would be to turn it from a regular drop down into a mega menu like this one. I've got 20 items on there and as you can see, they fit perfectly on the screen here. And that'll work just as well for desktop and mobile. If I hit my F12 key, I'm using the great group Google Chrome here with the inspector tools. Here it is on an iPad Air. If I drop it down, you'll see you've got your menu here. You've got your mega menu down there with 20 items. You can just scroll down to it. Exactly the same on a phone. Just scroll down to any item you want. Really easy to do. We've got to drop in one little line of code, but there's nothing to it. So let's take this little drop down here and I'll add a whole load more items to it. So to do that, I'm going to go down to my dashboard. I'm going to go down to appearance and menus. Here's my existing menu. Here's the drop down. And here's the mega menu. What I'm going to do is I'll add a load of sub items to this. I'm going to use custom links because I've got no real links. To do that, I'm just going to put a little hashtag in there. Let's say it's submenu1. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to add it to the menu. I'm going to add another one. Change that into a two. Continue. And I'll pause the video and do the rest. No point you watching me repeat myself here. Okay, I've added in another 16 sub items there, as you can see, which makes for a pretty big menu. Let's just save our menu. And we'll look back at the site here. Let's do a quick refresh. And the service is now, as you can see, they've got 20 items. Now I'm using a pretty big screen here and they're all just fitting on there. But the guy that asked this question, his is dropping down. But anyway, that's pretty ungainly. So let's turn it into a mega menu. Couldn't be easier. All we need to do is turn our services, which the drop downs are all under here, into a mega menu. To do that, we just need to give it the class name of mega menu. Now, if you drop down, you may not see anywhere in here to add a class name. By default, it's not going to be there. To make it appear there, we need to go to the top of our page and the screen options at the top here. We look over on the left hand side at the bottom. We've got link target, title attributes, CSS classes. That's the one we want right there. If I check this box, we can close that back up, roll down there now. We've got CSS classes. But all we need to write in there is mega, M-E-G-A dash menu. We'll save our changes again. Go back to the page. Now we still got our old style one there. We refresh now. Go over to the services. It's now turned it into a mega menu for us. Perfect. And that looks a lot better. It's not stretching all down the page. A lot easier to navigate. And of course, as we said before, it's going to work perfectly on tablet and mobile also. Now the reason mine's flipping in like that is that's where I've got it set up in my customizer, I'll show you how to change that. And also it's fine to have more than one mega menu. Here's the original one that I showed you. Here's our next one. So you can get a lot of menu items in a smaller amount of space there. And of course, I've only got 20 on here. You could put 40 on there or however many you need. Now let's just show you how to style this differently if you want to. Again, I'm gonna go down to my dashboard. This time we're gonna go down to appearance and customize. We're going to roll up to header and navigation right there. 
We're using the primary menu bar. This is our primary menu bar up here. And to change the drop down that we've got, or our mega menu in this case, we use the drop down settings. Drop down menu background color. Let's change that to a dark gray perhaps. Drop down menu text color down here. Let's make that orange. That'll stand out nicely on the background there. As you can see, that's changed the color of it. And if you don't want it to flip in like that, you've got various different options. At the bottom, we've got flip. Got to turn it to fade and it'll just sort of fade in. Fantastic. Expand. It sort of drops down like that. Slide. And of course, flip was the original that we had there. I think I'll leave it on that. I think I'm going to change that dark gray color to perhaps our logo blue that I've got up here. So I'm just going to copy this color. And we'll use it for our drop down. Just going to paste it in there. That's a little more in keeping with the rest of the site. Once you've done what you need to do, hit the publish. If we go back to our page now, refresh once more. We've got our little blue mega menu right there with our little orange links. Fantastic. And again, we've got our other one just over here. And like I say, make as many as you need. So there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to make a mega menu with the Divi theme. Just give it that class thing and you're good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.